Hey, welcome back everyone. We have just learned about Azure Blueprints and subscription governance. In this module, we're going to talk about Azure tags or tagging and why tagging is important and what are the useful scenarios for tagging. My name is Sushant Sutish and I'm your instructor for this AZ900 Azure Fundamentals course. So what is tags? You apply tag to your Azure resources giving metadata to logically organize them into a taxonomy. Each tag consists of a name and a value pair. For example, you can apply the name environment and the value prediction to all the resources in the prediction or tag by company departments. For example, the name of the department and with the value of IT. After you apply tags, you can retrieve all these resources in your subscription with the tag name and value. Tags enable you to retrieve related resources from different resource groups. This approach is helpful when you need to organize billing or management. Before we go and see how you can apply tags and learn about more tagging in the Azure portal, you need to be aware of some of the tax limitations as well. So some of the limitations of using tags are not all resource types support tags. Each resource or resource group can have maximum of 50 tag values. But storage account only support 15 tags. But the limit will be raised to 50 in the future release. The tag name is limited to 512 characters. And the tag value is limited to 256 characters. Tag applied to the resource group are not inherited by resources in the resource group. So now that we have learned the benefits and the limitations of tag, let me go and show you how you can apply this tag or create this policy assignment for this tag in the Azure portal. So I will see you on the next walkthrough. Till then, take care.